imagine you're an ocelot hunting chickens and fighting giant creepers for a hundred days on day one i spawned in the jungle as a baby ocelot meow wait what's that a bear was running right towards me ah, i just got here as a baby i only have three hearts so i need to avoid this guy luckily i'm able to sprint super fast i am speed Eventually, I outran the bear and was reunited with my family. Hi, everyone. I noticed a creeper off in the distance and scared it away with ease. Wow, I'm powerful. I then jumped in the water to catch some salmon. I did not like it, though. <laughs> Luckily, I was still able to catch some fish. As a fierce kitty, I can attack fast with my claws. I tested them out on some zombies, and it was super effective. Fear my blades. After that, I called it a night. On day two, I woke up excited to start the day. Morning, world! I spent some time tracking some rabbits and ate them after the hunt was over. Wait, where am I? I realized I had gotten distracted and was now lost. To be safe, I collected some wood and made some tools for myself. While searching for my home, I stumbled across a village. Are you lost, little cat? Ah! I ran away, terrified of the villager. Wait, I just wanted to give you some food. I was so hungry and all alone. I decided to call it a night, sleeping high on a tree to avoid the monsters below. On day three, I was dying to find my family. Guys, where are you? I ate some of my leftover salmon, growing into a fully grown ocelot with 10 hearts. Whoa! I found a cave, mining some cobblestone and making a stone pickaxe, axe, and sword. I continued on my journey. On the way, I passed by the same village from earlier. Hey, do you know where I can find a jungle biome? Thanks so much. Before I had time to leave, a mutant creeper jumped into the village. Oh my God. He jumped all around the village, destroying it with ease. Remember this day, beauty villagers. For today, you meet true destruction. The mutant creeper detonated a massive explosion, throwing me back into a nearby jungle biome. Wait, is this my home? I was hopeful, but it wasn't. I was sad, but also determined to reunite with my family again. In that moment, I also knew the mutant creeper had to be stopped, and I was gonna be the one to do it. On days four through seven, I decided I needed a base. I gathered some jungle logs and more cobblestone, then got started on a treehouse. My first step was the outer perimeter, building around a large jungle tree. Once I had that set down, I started with the kitchen, filling it with a crafting bench, a smoker, and a chest. I then built a bedroom for myself. I also put down a larger room and placed chests everywhere. I am going to have a lot of materials, and I'm gonna need a place to store them. Home sweet home. The next day after building, I set out for more materials. While Exploring, a tiger jumped me! Ah, I don't have any emeralds! I am not here for your emeralds or your head, Ocelot. Then what do you want with me? I'm here to warn you of the mutant creeper. Don't go after him. He's too powerful. Then can you train me? She said maybe later, but for now, watch out for the mutant creeper's minions. They're everywhere. Why are you helping me? You'll remind me of an old friend. The tiger left. I tried to follow her, but she was too fast. I was all alone, again. I walked back home upset. I missed my family so much. On days eight through 10, I made a fishing rod and went hunting for food. Salmon time. Later, I was exploring the jungle where I found the mutant creeper destroying a panda village. My little pandas. After tormenting the pandas, the mutant creeper walked away. Sadly, only one panda was left. Hey bud, are you okay? I decided to take him in. I felt bad, and he reminded me how I was a panda for a hundred days. I'm thinking you need a new nickname. How about Bruce? Shh, 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 shh. We made it back to the base, where I made my new friend a room. What do you think? Later, Bruce and I went mining, finding some iron. While in the cave, we heard a mysterious roar. What in the world? We didn't know what it was, but decided to investigate later. We made it back to the base. With the iron, I made iron boots and a helmet. By the time we made it home, it was late, so we called it a night. On days 11 through 13, the tiger showed up at my base. The creeper's minions are going berserk, especially its mutant zombie. They were going town to town, destroying every home in sight. Where can I find this mutant zombie? 
The tiger told me it was too dangerous, but I didn't care. I ran from the base as quickly as possible. I heard destruction inside a village. Lo and behold, the mutant zombie was causing mayhem. Zombie smash. Hey, how about you pick on someone your own size? And is that supposed to be you? With my skills? Oh yeah. Bruce and I ran at the mutant zombie, getting into a massive brawl. Hiya! Yeah! Stop hurting these people! Hiya! It was tough. Ow! And kept body slamming me. Stop it! I managed to fight off the mutant zombie, killing it. Once the monster was defeated, a kitten walked up to us. They didn't want to live in the desert. How about you guys come live with us? We all headed home, where I built the kittens some shelves for climbing. I think they really like it. On days 14 through 17, I was once again visited by the tiger. I'm impressed. Not many have taken on a mutant zombie and lived to tell the tale. The tiger told me they wanted to train me. That's awesome. My first lesson was stalking chickens, which I found easy. I crouch walked up to multiple chickens, killing each of them with ease. The next lesson was parkour, jumping from elevated blocks. Oh goodness, I don't like heights. My third lesson was stealing from villagers. I found another village, sneaking into a house and stealing some string. Excellent work. That wraps training for now. We'll meet again in a few days. On the way home, I found some sheep. I asked them if they wanted to join our base, and they agreed. I was gonna need a lot of wool, so they would come in handy. On days 18 through 21, I had a nightmare about the mutant creeper. He had imprisoned tons of cats and ocelots. Let these innocent animals go! Right after I blow up the entire world! <laughs> I ignored his evil laughter, begging for him to tell me where my family is. I'm not answering your questions. Where's the fun in that? I woke up angry and curious how much truth the dream held. I decided I needed a plan for the worst, so I made myself an iron pickaxe. I then went underground to mine, finding diamond. Oh yeah! I made myself a diamond pickaxe, which is about to come in handy. I found a lot of obsidian, mining as much as I could. This took a while. Next, I started a bomb shelter, beginning the first wall of obsidian. Okay, first wall down. Next, I decided to stock the shelter with food. I also added some string, just for funsies. After a hard day's work, I called it a day. On days 22 through 25, I decided to go look for my family. Along the way, in the distance, I saw a creeper bullying a sheep. What a jerk. I decided to stay quiet and listen in. Maybe the creeper can lead me to the mutant creeper. I'll say it again. I'm walking this way. And you're gonna follow me. Understood? They started to leave, so I decided to track them from behind. After a lot of walking, we reached some sort of castle filled with creepers. I charged in, fighting creepers left and right. No, 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 don't explode! Yeah, yeah. take this, monster! I did my best to keep my distance, but a few creepers exploded. After a lot of fighting, I slayed all the creepers except one. Tell your boss that Max the Ocelot was here. Afterwards, I searched the castle, finding a chest full of gunpowder. I realized then, to defeat the creeper, I was gonna have to start thinking like one. On days 26 through 27, I made it back to the base. I started adding on different cosmetic elements, like stairs and slabs. I also sheared some sheep, adding in beds for myself, Bruce, and the many cats that lived with us. Later in the day, I was chilling, when a raccoon climbed into the base and started stealing our food. Hey, stop that! Before I could grab it, they bolted off, getting away with a lot of fish. Stupid trash panda. I went to the nearby river to make up for the lost food. After that, I started working on an ocelot statue. My plan is to make it a massive head and even have part of the base be inside it. On days 28 through 31, I decided to investigate the roar from a few days ago. I traveled into a deep dark biome and found a warden. Another one of you? The warden was talking to some creepers, so I stayed quiet to listen in. 15 netherite ingots. Take it or leave it. The mutant creeper agrees to your proposal, good warden, sir. Good. I'll help your cause. I wanted to figure out where the mutant creeper was, so I decided to attack the warden. Hey, big guy, I'm not going to let you help the mutant creeper. Did one of you guys say that? No, it's an ocelot. <laughs> Good one! I shot an arrow to the side of the room, distracting the warden. With him out of the way, I went in for the creepers. Ah! I killed the creepers with ease. This caused a lot of vibration, though, alerting the warden to my location. You shouldn't have done that! He charged at me, and our duel began. His hits were some of the most powerful I've ever faced. Here's what you get for your greed! 
I slayed the warden. Upon his death, he dropped a map. Fingers crossed this leads to the mutant creeper. Tomorrow, I'm gonna see where the map takes me. On days 32 through 35, I began to follow the map from the warden. On the way, I found myself in a swamp biome. It's all slimy here. While there, I found a witch in her hut. Shoo, bad kitty. <laughs> Surprisingly, her cat calmed her down. Oh, thank you, boo. You always know how to cheer me up. For you two. So, could you help me defeat the mutant creeper? Yes, dearie. Drink this. The witch gave me a strange potion. I drank it, turning me into a warrior ocelot. This is incredible. I could feel my new strength shooting through me. Now it's only temporary, so come back if you need more potions. Will do. Thanks. I decided to test out my new form on some mobs. Now, killing zombies and skeletons was a breeze. I also realized I hadn't slept in a while, so phantoms started swarming me. I thought they would attack, but instead one came down to speak to me. Oh, thought you were a person. Never mind. Keep it real. Weird. On days 36 to 38, I woke up to find a bear attacking the other animals. Hey, wait, I know you. It was the same bear from day one. Time for payback. I started to attack the bear, but to my shock, it surrendered and apologized. I'm sorry, I'm just angry. I lost my family because of the mutant creeper. I realized that all animals, big and small, have been affected by the mutant creeper. Well, how about you come live with us? You'll be safe here. I'd like that. Later in the day, Bruce and I continued on the statue. We've now completed the mouth. While building, the tiger showed up. Stop building, Max. It's time to train. What? Why? I'm already OP. You've only scratched the surface. Watch this. I wanted to learn the same ability, so I agreed for more training. Before it could begin, though, Bruce told me the bear wanted to talk to me. Thought you should know. Endermen have been destroying homes in nearby villages. Wait, maybe that's where the map leads. I skipped out on training, making new iron armor and following the map from the warden. It led to a broken nether portal. I fixed it with some of my obsidian. I was about to enter it when my powers wore off. Okay, probably shouldn't go to the nether yet. On days 39 through 42, I began to search for the witch's hut in preparation for my trip to the nether, but I noticed that Bruce was sad. What's wrong, buddy? That's not true. There has to be more pandas, and I promise I'll help you find them. That made Bruce happy, so we both traveled and managed to find the witch's hut once again to ask for aid. Hi, witch. Could you spare another potion? Yes, but be warned. The ingredients to make these potions are incredibly rare, and I only have enough to make two more. Yikes. Noted. I realized that maybe the witch could also help me with my promise to Bruce. By the way, do you know where we could find more pandas? Why should I care about some dumb pandas? What is it, Boo? began to conjure a map and handed it to me and Bruce. This is a map to locate more pandas. Bruce was really happy now. Let's do this. With our preparations made, I transformed into a warrior ocelot and then Bruce and I entered the nether portal. We're coming for you, Enderman. We weren't there long before we discovered the mutant Enderman's lair. And there they were, the mutant Enderman. 
Hey, you! Your days of destroying villages are over! Oh, cute little kitty cat. Well, this little cat has claws! The battle was incredibly difficult. The mutant Enderman had multiple tricks up her sleeve. She was able to spawn these weird soul Endermen and made me go blind temporarily. Thanks to my training, though, I managed to defeat the mutant Enderman. After the battle, I found all kinds of cool loot. Wow, look at all this stuff. A cloud in a bottle and another map? I wonder where it leads. I decided to use the cloud in a bottle and realized I could now double jump. Heck yeah, I'm the king of the sky. With our new loot in hand, we decided to head back to the base and rest. On days 43 through 46, Bruce and I continued our work on the statue. We now have half the head complete. It's really starting to come together. Unfortunately, my hearts also went back to just 10. Afterwards, me and Bruce decided to use the map we got from the witch to find more pandas. The map took us to a bamboo forest where a group of pandas were living, but the forest had been destroyed. What happened? Well, would you like to come back and live at my base? We took the pandas back home, where they got acquainted with the other animals. It's getting crowded in here. Before I could continue my duties, I heard more explosions in the distance. Great, another dumb creeper. To be sure it wasn't a threat, I decided to check it out. But to my surprise, it was a villager. Hey, what's going on? Sorry about the noise. I'm a demolitions expert training to kill my arch enemy. Samesies, dog. Is there any way you'd be interested in training me in the ways of the explosion? Yes, but only if you help me kill the beast of the jungle. You got it! On days 47 through 50, I decided to adventure off with Demo. I followed him through the jungle. You sure you know where we're going? He started setting up TNT traps for his arch enemy to eventually set off. That should do it. Quick, let's hide. We both hid, waiting for the beast to appear. We waited and waited. Hours passed, days passed, until suddenly, something appeared. Oh no, look, it's the tiger. The tiger stepped on the platform. Hey, move out of the way. She activated the pressure plates and detonated the TNT, hurting herself. Hey, are you okay? The tiger got enraged, thinking I betrayed it. Okay, they don't sound too happy. We gotta kill this thing, dude. I'm going in. What? No. The tiger and Demo started fighting. I gotta stop this. Hey, hey, cut it out, stop. No, this animal's the reason for the disappearance of my daughter. She was last seen being attacked by this tiger. The tiger stated that they were merely protecting his daughter from creepers. Huh, well, that explains a lot. Out of nowhere, the witch from earlier appeared, revealing that she is Demo's daughter. Anna, it's me. Daughter? Okay, now I'm really confused. I then went home to sleep for like two whole days. On days 51 through 53, my warrior ocelot powers wore off again. I needed to train, so I went back to the demolition guy to learn the ways of the TNT. We started by setting off explosions under me to increase my speed. This is insane! I realized I was getting faster and stronger, utilizing my double jump to leap over explosions with ease. Later in the day, I met with the tiger. You've grown very strong. The tiger said I've grown stronger, and with all the progress I've made, I'll be able to be king of the jungle one day. Wow, that has a good ring to it. King of the jungle. I then decided to follow the map I got from the mutant Enderman. I found myself in a snow biome, cold and lost. Where am I? Suddenly, we were attacked by three snow leopards. Is that all you got? We traded blows back and forth. Eventually, two of the snow leopards managed to flee, leaving the last one alone. Uh, yeah! No, wait, I surrender! Uh, yeah? We're being forced by the mutant creeper to attack and capture all cats and ocelots. Why would he do that? The mutant creeper is trying to destroy all cats and turn them against each other. I was obeying his orders to protect my family. Well, our place is safe from the mutant creeper. Would you like to come live with us? The Snow Leopard agreed, and Bruce and I led him back to the base. We decided we would investigate the map later. Once we arrived home, we began to expand the base, starting with a room for the Snow Leopard. We made sure to add some shade for him. Thanks. It sure is hot in here. We also built a room for the witch, her cat, and Demo. Family reunion! On days 54 through 57, I rounded up some more wool to continue my statue. I've now filled in the entire head. Now I just need to add some more depth and detail. 
Look at this handsome guy. Once done, I went back to the snow biome following the map. I found a cave that led to a dungeon. Ooh, spooky. I traveled through a long hallway. It led to an entryway where I found a mutant skeleton waiting for me. I am the mutant creeper's right hand man. You stand no chance against me. We'll see about that. Uh, yeah. I attempted to fight him, but it was too much. Suddenly, the snow leopards appeared to help fight. We're not afraid of you anymore. With our combined strength, we defeated the monster. Oh yeah! He dropped several diamonds, which I plan to use to complete a diamond armor set. A voice then echoed through the dungeon. Skeleton! It's him, the mutant creeper. He walked in, all of us hiding in fear. Skeleton, skeleton, I need a word. Oh, I see now, you have failed me. Oh well, he was weak anyways. I'm ten times his strength. <laughs> the mutant creepers claimed that he was that much stronger than the skeleton scared me. I couldn't even face him on my own. There's nothing left to do here. It is time that I return. He must be returning to his castle. We'll follow him so we can get his location. Thanks, guys. Be careful. I decided to return to our base and celebrate our victory with a fish party. Woohoo! I can't eat another bite! On days 58 through 61, I made a diamond helmet, chest plate, and leggings for myself. After that, I realized that only 2.5% of the people watching are actually subscribed. Please help me change that. Subscribe! Later, I set out to find more animals to live at the base. The more the merrier. I found some cows, pigs, and sheep. Now with more residents, Bruce and I decided to expand the base with more rooms for the animals. This place is starting to become a tree jumbo jet. After we completed the final room, the snow leopards returned. We located the mutant creeper's lair. Take me there. I followed the snow leopards to an obsidian castle. It was completely explosion proof. Time for some recon. I crept around the perimeter of the castle where I found a balcony to sneak inside. Inside the center of the castle, there was a cage full of ocelots. Monster! I heard footsteps and I found a place to hide just as a creeper guard passed by. That was a close one. Creeper guards were everywhere. I guess they're not scared of ocelots anymore. I was a little scared, but I had to do this. I snuck around to the outer courtyard and reunited with my family. Hey guys, is everyone okay? Max, yes, we're so glad you're okay. Suddenly, one of the creepers began to chase me. Yeah, I had to run away and escape through the balcony I had entered from earlier. Once I was a safe distance from the castle, I began to feel sad. I can't believe the mutant creeper had captured so many ocelots. I promised I would get stronger to save every last one of them. On days 62 through 63, I was feeling discouraged about my current strength. I was too weak, and at this rate, all the cats were doomed. I noticed the tiger had entered my room to speak with me. Don't lose hope, Max. You're stronger than you think. I have one final test for you. The tiger took me to a secluded jungle area. What are we doing? Suddenly, the tiger began to attack me. This must be my final test. I gathered all of my skills and began to battle with the tiger. The fight was incredibly fierce, but in the end, I overcame the tiger and won. I did it. You have completed your training, Max, which means you are now the king of the jungle. Suddenly, I was transformed into a tiger. As a tiger, I was able to turn invisible to do sneak attacks. This is perfect. With my new ability, I was going to make the tiger and all of my animal friends proud. On days 64 through 68, I realized that we needed to keep working on the bomb shelter. Bruce and I lined two more walls with obsidian. And done. Oh, I'm almost out. After that, I went mining for more obsidian. I was going to need it. While mining, I heard a strange noise. Okay, what's down here this time? I dug forward, reaching a weird spider lair with some sort of spider queen. This is my least favorite thing ever. Hello, tiger. State your business. I'm fortifying my base against the mutant creeper. Excellent. I hate the mutant creeper. That's awesome, because- I also hate cows, sheep, and tigers. Out of nowhere, the Spider Queen started attacking me. Wait, stop! The fight was brutal and weird. Tons and tons of smaller spiders joined the fight. I kept trying to reason with them, but they wouldn't listen. I will rule the underground and the overworld. No, I won't let that happen. After a lot of fighting, I slayed the Queen Spider. 
Upon her death, she dropped tons of string in a spider fang amulet. Whoa! Now my attacks have a chance of poisoning people! Best day ever! I headed back home, excited to show Bruce my new goodies. On days 69 through 70, I met with Demo. He said he wanted to show me some of his new toys. Watch this! Demo lit some weird, inverted-looking TNT. We ran into a nearby bunker to hide. The explosion was just like it sounded. Inverted! Blocks flew into the air like a firework! Wow! Watch this one! Demo then lit another type of TNT, but instead of mass destruction, a magnificent farm grew! Incredible! Now the herbivores have more to eat! Later in our training, I decided to test out some dynamite on some creepers. Have a taste of your own medicine! To my surprise, the creepers weren't immune to my explosions. Thank you for helping me reunite with my daughter. No problem! As a parting gift, Demo gave me a bunch of different types of TNT. This is amazing! Thank you! After that, me and Demo parted ways. On my way home, I heard some squeaky noises coming from a nearby cave. Sneaky mode activated. It was a giant colony of rats. Ew, I hate those guys. While I was listening in, I overheard plotting to take over my base. I need to stop this before it's too late. I left to grab Bruce and take care of these freaks. On days 71 through 73, I returned to the rat lair. Over here, Bruce. These are the guys. We listened in to see what they had to say. And their ears are so dumb. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> I was sick of this. Hey, what's the, what's the big idea? Huh? What's that? Cat got your tongue. <laughs> Ugh, you're going down. I charged into battle, slaying them all with ease. I mean, come on. They were rats. That'll teach you. Ha! They dropped a note and a map. The note read, Thank you for agreeing to ransack that filthy ocelot's base. You'll be rewarded with the finest of cheeses, my dear rat friend, the mutant creeper. I can't believe the mutant creeper hired rats. I decided that tomorrow I was going to see where the map leads. On days 74 through 78, I studied the map and took action. What? An empty jungle? Where is everyone? I found a sign with two mysterious levers. Pull the lever for treasure. Mutant creeper. Huh. Well, I got you now. I pulled the lever, finding myself now plunging to my death. Oh no, it's a trap. When I landed, a creeper appeared from the top of the hole. Let me out of here. I was trapped and the hole was too tall to jump out of. Days passed. I was starving and missed my family and friends. After a few more days, I had an epiphany. Wait, why didn't I think of this? I can build up. Hooray! When I got to the top, I realized I was nearby the mutant creeper's lair. I vowed to return soon to rescue my family. The castle also reminded me that the bomb shelter needed to be finished. I returned home and placed the final walls of obsidian. On days 79 through 81, I headed back to my base. I decided to finish the statue. I planned for this to be a beacon for lost animals everywhere to find a home. Using different shades of wool and stained glass, the ocelot statue is now complete. Later in the day, I was admiring the view when something horrible happened. So, this is where all the cowards of this world come to hide. Leave this place, you monster! I'd rather do this. The creeper started detonating, cratering the base and killing some of the animals in the process. Max, it's time to fight. We took on the mutant creeper, trying to distract it away from most of the animals. You die here, Ocelot. The battle was intense, and the casualties were high. When I thought it couldn't get any worse, the tiger was struck by one of the mutant creeper's explosions. Finish this fight, king of the jungle. The tiger died, sending me into a fury. Oh, how I love days like these. Goodbye, little kitty. The mutant creeper left, laughing maniacally. <laughs> I swore right there to avenge the tiger and the rest of the fallen animals. On days 82 through 85, with a heavy heart, we decided to repair the damage the mutant creeper had done to our base. Good as new. Kinda. After the base was patched up, I decided we needed to attack the mutant creeper now. Since he was weakened from our previous battle, it was time to strike. I'm gonna finish this once and for all. Protect the base while I'm gone, everyone. <laughs> Bruce and I made our way back to the mutant creeper's obsidian castle. We're coming for you! There, I was able to use my invisible ability to sneak into the castle and kill the creeper guards while Bruce kept watch outside. With my new power, I was able to take out a lot of them. 
Who's running now? Suddenly, a buff creeper guard appeared. Hello, Tiger. I think your face is messed up. And how do you see me? I don't. I smell you. Gross. I tried to deal a sneak attack on him, but I realized he was much stronger than the other creepers. Even so, I had no choice for the fight if I wanted to save my family. Let me at him! The buff creeper was easily as tough as the mutant zombie. He would fist smash to the ground and even jump and body slam me. Luckily, with my training and abilities, I was able to take him on. I'm the strongest animal alive! Once the buff creeper was defeated, we freed the ocelots from their prison cell. I missed you guys so much! Max! Yes! We're so glad you're okay! Before I could enjoy my family reunion, we heard the roars of the mutant creeper in the distance. What's going on? It's not safe here. Go back to my base and hide. I have to take care of this once and for all. Bruce and I continued forward into the castle, ready to deal with anything that lay ahead. On days 86 through 90, we entered the castle, but then realized it was a massive dungeon. This is bigger than I thought it'd be. We fought several different mobs, both big and small. This is too much for us, Bruce. We're getting overtaken. I thought this was the end for us, until suddenly all the animals I had ever saved appeared. Whoa, hey, you guys. Thank you so much. We all fought together, side by side. After finishing off the mobs, I thanked the animals for their support. You really saved our butts, guys. Thank you. We continued to the castle and found the mutant creeper's lair. What the? Where is he? He was nowhere to be found, so we investigated. Whoa, look. What's an end portal doing here? We decided to leave it for now and regroup at the base. On days 91 through 95, we returned to the base to restock on materials. I made a lot of beds, just in case I needed extra firepower. I also made some flint and steel. I believe in you, buddy. We got this. Bruce said okay. He would come with me. It's time to finish this fight. On the way, we ran into Demo. We told him about our plan, and he said he wanted to help. Just in case you need a super backup, take this. It was nuclear TNT. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. After speaking with Demo, we headed towards the castle. On days 96 through 99, we saw the Obsidian Fortress once again in the distance. At the very top of the castle was the mutant creeper looking directly at us. Meet me at my end portal. Let's end this. Bruce and I traveled into the castle for the final time, making our way down to the mutant creeper's lair. I'm not gonna miss this place. We walked into the mutant creeper's ender portal room to find out that the floor had been replaced with TNT. What's this doing here? Suddenly, the mutant creeper walked up. You're 100 days up here, little ocelot. You're about to be floored. Huh? <laughs> Bruce and I sprinted into the portal, just as the TNT exploded behind us. On day 100, we arrived in the end. We walked up a small hill, where the mutant creeper waited for us in the center. You are the only thing stopping me, little ocelot. First of all, I'm a tiger now. Second, you're the only thing stopping me. I hope you enjoy a world reduced to ash. And with that, the final battle began. I went in with my sword, slashing him. This time though, he spawned little creeper minions to help him. What the heck? There were explosions left and right. We tried to avoid getting too close to the creepers, but it was almost impossible. I also tried to use my sword against him, but it didn't do much. So I pulled out the inverted TNT. Here, eat this. The blast went off, but the mutant creeper was able to dodge it. What's it gonna take? I went back in using my sword, but unsurprisingly, it didn't do much. This world will detonate in my name. There's no point in fighting it. I realized then that I had to use my super backup plan, the nuclear TNT. Bruce and I ran away from the mutant creeper and quickly assembled an obsidian bunker. I then ran over to the center of the end and placed down the nuclear TNT. Are you insane? No, 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 no. The blast went off, sending a death ray into the center of the end. We did it, Bruce. We actually did it! We walked out of our bunker, realizing that the end had been obliterated. Wait, how do we get home?